Okay, so today we are going to, to do three things. Um, first, let's do a recap of the exam, just to have everything well clear and avoid other questions. Um, then second, we're going to see a little bit the, the report, the structure of the report, and that would be the, the recorded part and the part in which I will speak. And then, since I don't think that for having a look at the exam and the report structure, we will need one hour and a half to do that. Uh, in the remaining time, we can have um, any questions that you have private, or maybe we can start with the public question, questions that you can ask freely. And then if you also have a private question, we stop the recording, and you can either come here, show me whatever you, you need to show, uh, ask any questions, and or leave and continue with your, your day. Mm -hmm. So, but first of all, let's just recap for a moment what happens at the exam. Uh, so, the exam is made, this, these are the slides from the introduction of the course. So, you have seen these slides in October. Hmm? So, these are exactly the slides that we have seen in October. So, you can find this information there. It's not new material. Hmm? So, the exam is a project development, a project you create during the course, that you are almost finished in teams, you know. Um, that including final report will be up to 20 points. And that includes the prototype sources, hmm, this is the picture of the paper prototype, that is the link to Figma for the media fidelity prototype, and this is the code for the last, for the high fidelity prototype, plus the final reports, and this is 20 points. Then there is the risk evaluation that you did individually, that is at additional four points. Mm -hmm. So the report, basically, of the heuristic evaluation that you performed to another group, and it's 24. And then there is the things that will happen the day of the exam or the day after. It depends how many groups we have per session. Uh, and we will publish some sort of calendar or make you pick a moment where to have the discussion in theory the day of the, for sure the day of the exam, and if we need one more day, we will continue the day after. This is the oral discussion on the project as a group. That is under eight points for a total of 32, okay, so you're still awake. Um, so, and the project will be valid until the end of the academic year, hmm? meaning that next year, this time, you cannot present this project, hmm? the project of this course made in 2022. Hmm? So, until the end of September, since this is the course of the first semester, you will, you can, uh, still use this project for giving the exam. Okay, so well, here there is the overall evaluation criteria, methodological, individual contribution, the quality of the of the exam, etc. And here there is the project development, the assignment, you already experienced all of this, and the oral discussion. It is the the things that will happen the exam. It is actually the things that is uh, the next critical part for you. Hmm? So, first of all, the entire team must be present when you want to, to give the exam and presenting. Hmm? Meaning that if a team of four people is there, it's not that one, people, one person speaks and the other three is left in a corner, but all four people speak. You can split the presentation, the demonstration among the team member. Hmm? You have to prepare this. That's the key point. You have to prepare that part of the discussion and presentation. Hmm? So each group will 
let's say that we are in a room like this. We are probably, I don't know where we are, but let's say that we are in a room like this. You came here, you plug your computer, you uh, screen share if needed, or you just show us uh, the prototype of the same smartphone. We came here, close to you, and see what, what happens. Um, or if you are using a visor for virtual reality, you can show what happens in the visor on the projector, on the computer screen, you have to show us what happens. Hmm? So that group, we will need, first of all, to briefly introduce the project. Hmm? Without slides, just speaking, a few minutes to introduce the process to the project to us, to the three of us that will be here. Uh, first of all, because not the three of us, hmm? so let's say that uh, we have seen a group for the virtual reality and AR for education slot. I know probably a lot of things about that project, but Albert and Tommaso will know almost nothing about the project. Hmm? So the brief introduction should serve to pick, just to give an idea, okay, this project is about X and we are doing this and we did that. Hmm? Not 11 hours, a few minutes. Um, the person associated to your slot we have already read and evaluated your final report. So those 20 points plus four are already set. And so there is no need to repeat things that are in the report, there is no need to show the code, etc., because we already had evaluated all of that. Hmm? So just a brief introduction to, to remind us where we, what we are speaking about, what we are going to see. In the second step, that is the demonstration of the high fidelity prototype, hmm? where you, the team, cover the main features, the main problems, the main characteristics of the prototypes, and everybody in the team speaks. Hmm? So the prototype is about this. We can enter here, do this action, because this, because that. It's a demonstration. You are in a way that what you did is a good identity prototype and that is solve the problem that you have in, uh, identified at the beginning and it works well. Hmm? So you are going to come up with some scenarios, some, uh, moment, some things that work, some use cases, small use cases, one or two, to show us hmm? that everything is working, everything is working well and it's doing what you want to do. And finally, we can ask you some questions about the project, so there won't be questions about theory. We won't ask you, mm, tell me the third, the third heuristic of Nielsen. Mm? We are not going to ask you this. We're going to ask you things about your prototype, things about things you are shown as, or things you are written in the report. Mm? So let's say that there is something unclear about the usability testing, we can ask you, clarify something that you wrote in the report. Hmm? So it, it will really help everything about the project. And typically, from the experience of past years, the demonstration is the most critical part, and it needs to be prepared. You need to know what you're going to do, and who is going to do what, and who is going to speak, etc. It cannot be, oh, let's come here, let's, let's imagine something in the moment. And it, also, it cannot also be, uh, let's go to the feature one after the other, but a good demonstration is something that again tells a story. Okay, there is this person that is this problem and is using the application to do this, this and that, solve the problem and then this and then that. Hmm? More than a list of features, like here we can do this. And then in this other totally unrelated page, we can do these other things. Hmm? So, more tell us what you want to demonstrate. It can convince us that is, you deserve the best result ever with your prototype, with your high fidelity prototype. Hmm? So again, there is no need, we already read the report, and there is no need to uh, cover the report, and if not in the brief introduction to the project. Okay, is this clear? And then we are not going to introduce assignment zero because we did it. Um, this deadline is October 5. Um, okay? So, no, this is not. Hmm? So, the message is 
once you prepared everything, uh, try to prepare a special demonstration and well, the brief introduction to know what you say. And everybody must check. Hmm? And the deadline for delivering the report, uh, the source code, and so the other parts that will be evaluated. Hmm? So step one, step two is seven days before each exam date and the exact date, the exam date, sorry, the exact date is written on the website. It's already written on the website, it should be already written on the website, the exact date for the deadline. So if you want, don't, want to do the math, we did the math for you. Hmm? So there is an exact date on the website. And your discussion will start the day of the exam, the, the official day of the exam that is listed on the, on the portal. Okay, any question about this? Yes. Well, it depends. So let me repeat for for the recording. So the question is, uh, if when, when we ask a question to the exam, if the question is asked to a specific team member or generally to the team, so typically is asked to the team, and then it's up to the team to reply. Uh, it may happen that when you demonstrate something, and so we are asking a question to you because you demonstrated that thing, but then everybody else in the team can can answer, can compl can add things to what you, you said. But generally, is a question on, on the project, so on the team, the team should, should answer according to who is most. Uh, suitable, let's say, to answer that part. Any other questions before going to the... Yes. Oh, sorry, um, but the question was, do we need to prepare PowerPoint for some presentation for the first point that is the... Um, the, the introduction to the project, the answer is no, just speak a few minutes, no more, no more than a few minutes. Okay, so the question is how can we show the, the, the prototype? You show the prototype. The answer is you show the prototype. So you have a phone, you pick the phone, you put things on the phone, and you show us on your phone uh, what you want to show us. If it's a, a web application or computer, you have the computer, and you can decide that you prefer the project there, or we can look at the screen. It depends on how deep you plan the demonstration. Clearly, a computer is easier uh, than a smartphone to, you know, to project there, but it is up to you how to decide. You have to demonstrate. We are not going keeping the product for us and using it. You are using the prototype. We are looking what you do. Okay? You can also give us the link to the hosting. Yes, you can, but we are not. So the question is uh, if you can also the web application, it's a web application clearly, and we can try it and if we can try it the answer is yes you can host but in the demonstration you are going to demonstrate it we are not going to try it the application so you can do whatever you want extra it just but this is the, the required things hmm? so it's you demonstrating the project the prototype because you know the prototype so it's it's more convenient for you to demonstrate it. Anything else? Do you have questions for me or hello? Any questions? No. Yeah. Um, that's 
a good question. How much time? So typically, we never set a strict time for that. But typically, you can consider yourself, let's say, 15, 20 minutes for the oral, oral discussion. That is, if it's 25, doesn't matter. If it's one hour, probably it's too long. Uh, but let's say 15, 20 minutes, regulate between introduction and demonstration and sometime for the question, 15, 20 minutes. Mm? It's, it's, it's eight points in the end, mm? so we cannot spend. Well, we can spend, we can spend one hour also for groups, but we will not finish, basically. Mm? Okay, so 15, 20 minutes is a reasonable time. Um, so the, the final question in the in your discussion are used for the, the question is uh, used for the um, individual um, grade or for the group grade. Um, the answer is it depends on the questions. Typically for the group grade um, so on the project. So for sure the individual grade is given by the, the report on the risk evaluation. Hmm? So the group can have the differences there. Um, if we ask a question to the group, to you specifically, let's say, and you don't answer, clearly that impacts uh, you as an individual and not the group. If, if somebody else in the group needs to, is able to, to reply clearly. Mm -hmm. It depends on, on, on the question. So if you, again, if we ask something to you, you don't reply at all, and you always need him to reply, then clearly this is disadvantaging you, not the group, because he is able to reply for the group, okay? That sounds a reasonable answer, no? I mean, in the end, okay. Anything else? Uh, the question is, if we, if we need to change something in the previous assignment, let's say Figma page or something, we have time until the exam or before the exam? And the answer is seven days before the exam, because you need to write that in the report also. So if the report needs to be ready seven days before the exam, uh, all the changes must be done seven days before the the exam. The only change that can happen after the seven days is that if are those related to the code. So you notice something that is a bug the day before because you are demonstrating you find a bug in your high fidelity prototype, you can fix it clearly. But all the pages, the structure, the result of usability testing, etc., should be in the report, so it should be ready seven days before each exam date. Final report. Here there is just the structure of this document. This document is in the assignment folder on GitHub, and I call it assignment seven, but it's not really an assignment. Because, yeah, it's sort of an assignment, but it's for the exam. Um, so it's guidelines for final report, so you can use whatever structure you want, title, format, fonts, colors, whatever. The important thing is that the, the content is there. Hmm? So overall, uh, if you have something in the slides that you prepare for the assignment that is not in the report, then probably it should be in the report. So this is overall. The report typically has more things than the slides, not less. And for in the report, I mean included, embedded, inserted in the report, not linked from the report. Okay? So the final report 
suggest you to have separate section for each top level items. So first page, you will have the project name, the developer position that you created, assignment three, uh, the team member's name and group name, the title page. The second page will be the problem, the solution overview briefly, two, four sentences just to summarize what was your problem and uh, solution that you find. Then there is everything you did for the need finding phases, so assignment one and two, basically. So the description of the initial domain of interest within your team and why you choose it. That is exactly what we ask you uh, in assignment one. Hmm? And you probably put some of these in the slides. Then the first round of interview, the methodology, the procedure, who you interview, where the interviews were, the list of questions, the team member's role, any material that you use, and then the results, including the picture, the summary of the answer. You don't need to report all the answer, but the summary of the answer, yes. Any key quotes, like in the slides, what you learned, like you already had in the slide, etc. So, what you did, why you did that, how you did that, and the results. You have to prove, overall, again, you have to demonstrate that what you did was did properly and in the right way. So that when we evaluate that, we read that, we say, okay, this group did develop the interview as they should have done. So it's a good interview. Best maximum point on the interview. If you skip something, so the risk here, because most of you is not used to write a lot, the risk here is that you did something, but you didn't write it. So we don't know that you did it, because you didn't tell us. So the report is about communicating what you did in the best way possible. Um, so, methodology, results, and the first round interview, then the initial synthesis, the full list of the brainstormed initial needs with links to the interviews, meaning, okay, these needs emerge from interview number one mm, uh, and the answer, and then the most insightful initial user needs that you selected, like in the slides and why you choose them and then describe the most focused domain of interest you selected after interview number one, so why you uh, narrow down the team. And then the second round of interview, same as before, methodology, procedure, results. Um, the list of brainstorm user needs with pictures, because pictures were requested. Uh, each connected to one or more interviews and answer, and the three, four deep user needs, and why you selected it. Then the solution, five or more solutions that you generated for each deep user need, uh, and how you created them. Mm, so if you use brainstorm, if you use post-it, whatever you use, as in, is in, the, in the slides that you created. And the top solution you picked, and how you decided it, if you voted, Again, like in the slides and in the assignment. There is nothing here that wasn't requested in the assignment, just a matter of write down. Then task and storyboard, list of the simple, moderate, and complex tasks, and why you choose them, and why they're important for the target population, and include the storyboard. Include mean include, put in the document of the storyboard. Hmm? Put the picture of the, doc of the storyboard in the document not add a link to the GitHub page, to the GitHub folder, where is the storyboard, but put it inside the document. So every time you see include, means embed, add it inside of the document. Add uh, to the storyboard, specify how you choose it, strengths, weaknesses, how well it achieved the task, and the user need you selected. And then low fidelity prototype, the exploration of the varieties, which turns into consider, the two selected alternatives and why you select them, and a report to your target device and platform. So we have this for mobile, for the virtual reality device, or for uh, web, web, a desktop web pay, a desktop system, etc. Then the prototype reported the two realized prototype, including a comprehensive set of 
digital photos or scan of them, caption included, put the paper prototype inside the document, and summarize how both connect to the storyboard and the project goal and the trick task. And include also the high level floor the screen of both prototypes like you did in the slides. So the, the selection of rationale, a report the list of protocols for each prototype, say which of the two you selected and why, and again, target device platform, it, it changed from before, and it moves features from a prototype to the other, explain why, and list all the changes that you planned to perform in the past, moving from the paper prototype to the medium fitted prototype. Next, next session, next chapter, uh, medium fitted prototype, images, the raw sketches, created to revise the selected paper prototype with explanation, Say which tool you use to create a prototype, Figma, Balsamic, PowerPoint, whatever, and how you create the prototype, so team member roles, the design creation projects, tell us what you did while creating the prototype. Hmm? The actual work, how and what covers the three tasks, how address the limitation, etc. Include, again, add in the document, and comment on the most significant screen of your medium fidelity prototype, so in this case, you will add a link, let's say, to Figma, but adding in the document the most significant screen of your uh, medium fidelity prototype, hmm? some screens that are most significant for your project, with comments, caption, or description. And then add a link. Here, there's add a link to include. Add a link to the Figma project, whatever project you used for the interactive medium fidelity prototype to try, if needed. And then describe a new section, a risk evaluation, describe the risk evaluation you received, not the one you did, the one you received from the evaluator. Mm -hmm. So include the evaluation results from the evaluator as a link in this case, uh, for instance, and discuss each severity level three or four risk evaluation that the evaluator found and write how you planned to solve them. And again, if uh, in the high level prototype, as a list, and again, if you disagree with the evaluator and disregard the evaluation, just justify the decision as identically as it was written in the assignment six, I think. And then finally, I the prototype, describe the tool, the framework, the library, whatever you used and why you selected them. So we use React, we use the technology, we use React Native, we use this, that, because, and add a link to the GitHub repository containing the full code of the prototype. Uh, reported real architecture application and described again the most significant screens. So do some screenshot of the most significant page and describe their images, captions, etc. And comment on the art coded part, the push store data and the limitation that you added. Mm -hmm. So you are doing maybe you have exercise let's say in your application just two exercises, well, this is a limitation because it works in that specific two cases. It's not to work generally in any possible cases. You just have a small portion of that. Hmm? Uh, so that is one thing to report there. And then there is the usability testing. So uh, preparation and run, describe the evaluation you conducted, how many participants, the team member role, where, how the evaluation was conducted, Again, demonstrate that you conducted a well done in the business testing, uh, which are the set of tasks that you use during the evaluation, et cetera, and add a link to the um, protocol, to the documents uh, that report the protocol, the entire protocol of the study, including the constant form and the questionnaire, and then another section of all the results, in which summarize the results and finding together with relevant problems or successful tasks that you have, and add the photos you took with the captions, mm, but don't forget about the results. So one thing that happens, okay, that happens, that happens, yeah. One thing that happens typically is that maybe in the, um, uh, in the protocol, you say we're going to use tools. Mm, the system is to scale as a way to evaluate the prototype. And then you don't report the results from tools in the result. So you surely did, but if you don't write the result, we don't know how it went. Hmm? So that is one thing. And you say, we're going 
measure time for each task, then in the results, you have to put times the one that you measured. So if you say we are going to do this, and you do this, then report the result on this, hmm? whatever is this. Uh, so summarize the results in the finding. If you do, um, uh, so let's say you use source or um, use uh, measure time or measure clicks or measure number of the errors, you can summarize, you can also uh, present an average of those results, a mean on those results. So the mean will for is 70. And the individual score will be this six, but the mean is this. Same things for the other things that you say to have measured. What you discovered and learned about your prototype. Mm, so reflect the changes on the results. And write, just write, a non trivial list of potential changes that your team would like to implement to fix many issues emerge from visibility testing and justify each change by explaining which piece of feedback which result generate it. Just list the changes that you would potentially like to do. If you have time, money, health in the next three years, not do that. Just list the potential change that you want, want to hypothetically do. It's not needed to do that. And then there is a new section. The last section is conclusion. Uh, that's two things. One is what were you main learning from the overall process. Uh, so it's free text. You can choose what you uh, write, how long it is, and the good feedback. And so how did you split the work overall over the course within the group? And so is, is one person doing all the work and the other three were there? Or you split evenly the, the, the work? Or some people did um, the, I don't know, the paper prototype and the, the, the medium fidelity and other people did the, the high fidelity. So how do you split the work within the group? Also for us to, to know if there was a fair distribution of the work and the effort within the group. And any positive aspects and any negative aspects you experience as a group. Hmm? Something to work well and something that could have worked better or any problem that you have. Um, this group feedback that we can consider and um, you should be should try to be honest here also especially for the negative parts of if any problem arises within the group okay and this is the structure of the of the report again whatever format you want fonts colors font size it should be readable uh, it should be in English and should be readable. Okay? Any questions on this? Yes. No, you, you, you can answer the question is you need to use latex or latex or not, you can use whatever you want. The, the important thing is that in the end there is a PDF on your group GitHub procedure that is in English and it's readable. And the links are clickable, and so then you can also use board pages, LaTeX, whatever. Yeah. Should be a report. So it should be a report, yes, not a presentation. It should be more like Word than a PowerPoint, yes. No other question? Everything is no. Yes. 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 Yeah, the course is in English and so the exam is in English. So all the official parts are in English. All this has been and um, so all the other questions will be in English. Yeah.
I said that 30 minutes ago. I understand. Yes, there will be a calendar for the order of presentation. Yes, and also, if you have any, that was the question, right? If, yes, we, we will try to, uh, as soon as we have all, all the, so first of all, enroll to the exam on the portal, because we use that for understanding if a group is present or not. Mm -hmm. So if, an entire group should be there. So if there is a partial group, we don't know what happens. Mm -hmm. So first of all, enroll that, because we use the official data from understanding how many groups we have. And then we, we prepare an uh, order, let's say a calendar, and we will ask you, uh, let's say the first three groups to come together, just in case one is late or there is a problem, is not working, so we can switch groups, but more or less. So let's say uh, every hour will be three, four groups coming hmm, uh, along the, the day. And if you have any other exams, overlaps, whatever, just tell us. Hmm? So if you have an exam and you prefer to move after lunch, we can move the group after lunch. Otherwise, we just use a sort of random order for the groups. Yeah. Uh, it, it will start on the date, yes. Could also be the next day, it depends how many groups will enroll. Mm. So if we imagine to do three, four groups per hour, we can do all, all the long from 9 p.m. to 6, 9 p.m., sorry, for, to 6 p.m. with maybe one hour for lunch. So that is the maximum amount of groups we can process in a day. We are going to do the timetable, payment time. And again, if you have issues, tell us before so that we don't put you when you cannot be there. But it will be 90%. So we, we hope to be everybody, to everyone in one day. I don't know if it will be possible in that day. I don't know if it will be possible, but it will be the day after, otherwise. It's not Friday. Otherwise, it's on Monday. If it's Friday, the after is Monday, not not Saturday. For the exam, please. Any other, let's say, public questions that you may have? Last call, any other question? No? Okay, so, what we are going to do in these um, 45 minutes, no, 40 minutes more or less, that are left, I'm going to stop the recording, and you have two choices, choices. One is leave and do something else. And the second choice is uh, not even be leave, so asking questions maybe personally, individually, or more privately. If you have something to show, you have something to write, it's not, it's not okay to, to be recorded. So if you have any specific question for me about exam, the course, life in general, whatever, I can answer. Uh, just in here, uh, one, one one by one or one group by one group and we can try to solve it uh, until four. If you don't have anything to tell me, you are free to continue with your day, okay? Yes, and on Friday it will be the last lab. Hmm? So three results, usual place, usual time, okay? Perfect, so we can start the individuals
questions slash direct survey.